Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are back once again inside the paradox. Yo, tonight is a special night. We we got a special guest in the house, man. And this, uh, you know, I, I, I started noticing who he was on the map here probably about a year or two ago. And and he's kind of just taken off and he's become this character. And I, I can't tell you how honored I am to have this guy inside the paradox tonight. And that's Cha-Cha Charlie. What's up, Cha-Cha? Hey, hey what's up? What's good, my brother? What's good, Joe? What's good, Chris? Yeah. Yo, thank you guys for having me. You already know it's going to be one big party. Uh, and we're going to be celebrating it. and dancing all night long. Cha -cha. I love it. I love Cha -cha. it. Hey. <laughs> He's been doing that shit nonstop since he heard we were having you on. <laughs> Yo, amazing, Cha Cha, amazing. I have to tell you really quick, man. One of, uh, one of my first experiences with you, like live in person, was just at Summer Glory. And, um, you know, I followed your career a little bit before that as well. But, man, can I tell you something really quick? Tell me, you, tell me, please. You scared the shit out of me and Chris. With the <laughs> opening shot. Was it Vic Steele, I believe it was? Vince Steele. Yeah. Pop, yeah, you popped him in the head with that, with that pan. Dude, we didn't yeah. see it coming. You were behind the pole, and we were sitting right there on the other side. We were like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, it it wasn't even planned or anything. I was like, um, he said, let me get in the ring. I, I was like, you know, you took too long, man. I went straight to, <laughs> to the bottom, found something, and like, the, the beef is on right now. The, we're going to start fighting now. And bam. Oh. Dude, like, Chris jumped out the fucking chair. Chris is like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, I was watching Vince walk down. I had my back to the ring, and then all of a sudden I heard this. Oh, and I was like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> and then all of a sudden I saw the cookie sheet hit the ground. I'm like, holy shit, he hit him hard. <laughs> Yo, he got him. Yeah, man. no, we came. We, we came to hit each other. Uh, so there was a lot of stuff going on. They cut the match short. So mm -hmm. we, were, we had a lot more planned. But, they, you know, we went from 30 minutes to, to uh, you know, a lot of shit was going on backstage. They were like, guys, 10. We are like, 10 minutes? <laughs> nah. <laughs> I was, so, I was so fucking pissed when they said 10, but we got, we got to do what's right for, for the company, whatever they want, right? Right. Nah, de definitely, man. Um, and it was definitely an experience watching you live in person, man. So I thank you for that experience. Anytime a wrestler puts me in a little bit of awe, I'm like, thanks. Because I'm 29. I'm, I'm 29. I'm going to be 32 in like two weeks. I'm 32 now. I don't get that same, you know, that oomph I used to have for wrestling. Like, we do this show because we try to relive some days and we have some fun with it. But that shock and awe is almost gone. And. You put that shock and awe in me right away, you know, right from the opening bell. So I was like, all right, fuck, man. Like, I'm watching this match. Like, I'm all in it, man. And Cha-Cha, I tell you what, man, you're one of my favorites coming up right now. You're in through oh my God. the way thank you move you, in the you. ring, the way you move in the ring, like, your character, your, your original. Like, who, who else has done this character and has pulled it off? Like, you're, you're, you have that character that you connect with so many people throughout the crowd. And I think that's one thing that we noticed is you're one of the crowd favorites. You and Alex Ocean are up there, man. And, uh, you know, so it's, uh, it's pretty cool to be talking to you right now, man. So um, I think we're going to get into hard hitters. Chris, you want to jump off first? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and, and, and Joe, Joe, thank you, by the way, man. That means a lot to me. Uh, yeah, you, I, sure. I was getting goosebumps. You know, <laughs> stories like that. Is, I love hearing stuff like that. You know, I, I, don't, like, cool. uh, the, the, I, don't, I don't get too cocky, too ego about situations. There's, I love it when they tell me things like that. <laughs> That's Dude, awesome. Man. Nah, for sure. Chris, hit him with it, Chris. <laughs> so, like I said a couple weeks ago, we had Alex Ocean on, and, um, and we saw that he got linked, in, linked up with Pablo Marquez, and he told us how he came from Wisconsin, and it was just a Google search. How did you get linked up with CCW and Pablo Marquez? Well, I'm a longtime wrestling fan. Since a little kid, I've been watching wrestling. It's in my blood. My uncle's a, 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 a famous, he was a famous wrestler in the Dominican Republic. He used to feud with Jack Manan all the time. So it's in my blood. Um, but the opportunity got presented late, late in my life. Um, I'm a cameraman. I went to school for film production. So um, my, my boy, who used to wrestle for CCW, Ace Mayhem, um, he was the one that I saw him wrestling. I'm like, you're doing wrestling, independent wrestling? And I, that's when I started getting introduced to the independent scene down here in South Florida. I used to watch a little bit of independent when YouTube just started coming out. Teddy Hart, um, and Jack Evans were, were the ones that I started watching. Um, but then, yeah, Ace Mayhem introduced me to Pablo. Uh, Pablo I was like, Pablo, let me film all your stuff. Uh, let me edit it. Let me, let me, let me, let me take control of the, 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 the media side of it. And uh, from there, well, we kicked it. And while I was recording and I was in the, on the ring, I was like, man, I, I should be in the ring, not doing the camera job. 
And and from there, I spoke to Pablo. I'm like, hey, teach me how to wrestle. Uh, and, and, you know, we'll work something out. And and the magic was there. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, that's awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was one of my questions because I, I realized reading into you and knowing where you came from, you were the cameraman at first. So that was kind of kind of cool to hear your side of the story and how you came about and got into the ring. Um, yeah, yeah. I was I was a cameraman. The first time I hit the ring was as a cameraman. And, and you know, I just saw the guys perform, doing their thing, the audience reacting. It, uh, it was the best feeling ever. And uh, I just wanted to be a part of that. And I wanted the crowd to react for me after that. And that's what yeah. they're getting. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> that's awesome, man. To know that you started that, you, it was like you were a fan. And to see yeah. a fan in the ring and just like you were working on the outside and weren't doing that shit. So to isn't, know that you got isn't that the old life, time saying? You started at the bottom. Now you're here. Now you're here. <laughs> <laughs> and I, um, I wasn't expecting for Cha Cha Charlie to be, at, you know, as popular as, as this guy. And, uh, I, I was just going with it, playing with it, and and look, look where it's at now. Now, now I have to keep going. I have no choice. As soon as your music hits, bro, the crowd pops. It is like the, it's the craziest. It's like the Cena Austin like glass breaking. Or dun, 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 the crowd of right. It doesn't matter how big the house is at CCW. As soon as your music hits, it's on. It's on. It's and on. That's, that's almost anywhere. Um, I was surprised um, in Tennessee. That was the first time I performed in Tennessee was like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. And uh, my music hit. And they knew who I was. I'm like, how do you guys know who I am? <laughs> that's awesome. this, this ain't little Cuba. This ain't this in the Spanish territory. You know, they knew who I was. It was amazing. <laughs> you know, you, what I think, what I think the, the great thing, though, was I saw you um, a couple of years ago in 2018 against Striker Ramirez at the BB&T Center on St. Patrick's right. Day. Okay. Oh, you were there? Yes, I was there. There was very little people in the crowd. Okay. There were, um, I went there, not for the hockey game. I went there for the, the podcast, Conrad Thompson the podcast. podcast. Yes. Okay. Um, but once your music hit and you came out, the crowd erupted. You were dancing around. And it's like the crowd that weren't watching started watching. And like you, you just like in goal, you like brought them in. And I think that's what the Cha Cha Charlie character brings. And I think that's awesome. I think that's what wrestling needs. They need a character. Right, right. And um, yeah, that's what they need. They need a character. They need a storyteller. Mm -hmm. um, that day at BBC, I was the, the Southeastern uh, heavyweight champion for CCW. I had to defend it against Striker Ramirez. Striker Ramirez, we, we, we told a good story. We had a long feud. He's one of, he was one of the new guys uh, that was up and coming. And uh, he, he got to face Cha Cha Charlie. And, and, and what we did is we did magic. And um, he became a star instantly after he beat me. And I remember very vividly, well, I was drinking while watching you guys, but uh, it was very hot that day. Very hot. Very it, was hot. Un it was unbearable. And I can only imagine you guys in the ring. It was just, oh, my gosh. Yeah, so imagine the, the ring gets very hot. So, like, mm -hmm. when your body's there, is you feel the burn. And oh. and every time I got slammed, I was like, get me up, get me up, do something. <laughs> <laughs> get me out of the uh, shit. It was, it was burning. And just imagine yeah. I'm fair skinned. So if I was laying on that ring, it's like, no, 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 no. I'm like skin bubbling. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, I definitely had a tan after that. Uh, a natural tan. <laughs> you know, Chris, this kind of gives us some hope, man. Cha Cha went from the cameraman to in ring. You know, Cha Cha, I don't know if you know, but we have a tag team name. We're What's the bearded the belly, bu bearded belly bullies. Ooh, the beauty belly bully. No, bearded, 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 bearded belly bearded, bully. Bearded, bearded. Uh, beauty, beauty is not bad, too, but bearded. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Chris, that. we might have a chance here, baby. We can get this going, Chris. <laughs> right. Um, no, nah, Cha Cha, let hey. me ask you, man. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. The way, tw the, the way 2020 is, is, is going, anything can happen. Anything so if you guys want to do this, get your foot Yo. wet. I'm, hey, I'm trying. I messaged Pablo Mark. I put. I messaged Pablo today. I'm trying to get an interview with him, so uh, yeah. we might have a shot in here. <laughs> hey, if podcasting, if podcasting don't work, I can either sell my body or become a wrestler. Whichever one. Don't mind. <laughs> it works both ways. <laughs> um, all right, man. Let's get back to it. Yo, uh, Cha Cha, real quick. Of all the wrestlers, uh, anybody that's come through CCW, like who? When when they talked, like who did you grasp? Who did you grab a hold of? Who did you listen to? I've heard great things about MVP. I've heard great things about Mick Foley. Um, who was that wrestler for you where you're like, they're here, I'm shutting the fuck up, and I'm watching them? MVP. MVP. 
Yeah, I hear um, that so much, man. What is it about him? Please tell me. I, it's, it's his story. I can relate to his story. You know, um, it, it's just he's so natural. He's, um, he, he's, he's a humble person. Out of everything, he's real humble. And, and just his story and everything that, that he went through to, to get to where he's at today uh, means a lot to me. And, um, yeah, the, as a matter of fact, uh, I'll tell you guys this. Um, at Rage in the Cage, uh, when I faced uh, David Mercury for the CCW Heavyweight Championship title, um, he was backstage with me. Um, me and Dave, you know, we were going over our match. And um, I was like, let me jump off the cage. Let me hit the frog splash. Everybody, everybody backstage was like, I don't know about that, Cha-Cha. I don't think it's a good idea that that cage probably is not even stable for you to do that. And I'm like, ah, oh, I had my head down. I'm like, man, I kind of really wanted to do this. And then MVP heard it, and he was like, this is your moment, right? I'm like, I guess if I'm, if I'm winning the title, you want to do that? Jump off the cage. And I'm like, I looked at the, the, the guys, I'm like, can I jump off the cage? <laughs> you know, if, if MVP says so, I guess he could do it now. <laughs> that's all. Uh, yeah, yeah. So have you... MVP, MVP gave, gave the goal, the okay, and, and that's what happened. You know, I had a little viral moment, and that. Uh, that was one of the best moments in my uh, indie wrestling career. Have you been following MVP as of now with Money? Yeah, Raw yeah, of course. Is that of is course. that cool to see? Just like see it happening to him. He's amazing, right there in the spotlight. amazing. Yeah, the best thing was, ever. Yeah, you know, uh, Wednesday. So our podcast. I don't know if you can tell or not. The WNW stands for Wednesday Night Wars. That's okay. what we cover. We cover amazing. the wars between AEW and NXT. Um, for me, it almost feels like a job now. I don't know how it feels for Chris, but for me, it feels like I'm watching, I'm keeping notes, I'm doing everything. It's a good job. But Mondays, I've gotten – it's actually made me fall in love with wrestling more on Monday and Friday now because I don't have to take notes. I can just sit back and enjoy the show. And I love the spot that MVP is in right now, man. He is yeah. right there in the card, and he's, he's on the show at least three segments a night. Yeah, which is yeah. great to see. So, and to see wrestlers like him and people like Shelton Benjamin, who, when they came out, they were a little overshadowed by other people. So for them to get that spotlight again, is really cool to see. Um, yeah. Yeah. And MVP, he was, they signed him as an agent. He's wrestling. Now they offered him another two year contract. So yeah, he's going to be there for a minute. Yeah, yeah man. Joe, Joe's views on the podcast do not affect mine either because I, <laughs> I cannot watch Monday or Friday. Um, it's, I, I, I tried watching Raw last night and I lasted probably 25 minutes. And I'm like, all right, there's eight promos and not one match. Like, I'm right, just like, right. you know, it's like, come on. And I understand I'm it's a three hour Chris. show. I'm with you, Chris, on that. Uh, you know, um, I, I watch it to see MVP, maybe, yeah. and, and 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 to see if one of the the local talents are gonna be used. That's about it. Uh, I, I'm not really engaged with what's going on with Raw and SmackDown right now, but I am engaged with AEW and uh, the NXT, the, the the Wednesday Night Wars. Well, cha cha. Well, cha cha. Wait, 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 real quick, real quick, real quick. Uh, are we gonna say cha-cha. the same thing? No, no, no. Cha cha, cha cha might know this, but. Um, on AEW Dark this past week, there was a local wrestler from our area that was that was featured on Dark, Alex Chamberlain. Nice. Alex Chamberlain, yeah, I know, I know, I'm, I'm familiar with Alex Chamberlain. He's a great yep. talent. Yep. He's been doing this for a long time. Mm-hmm. I'm familiar with Alex's work, and and he deserved to, to be in AEW. So congratulations, Alex. And yeah, uh, it, yeah anything can happen. Uh, as a matter of fact, AEW Dark, uh, I think it's today. Uh, there's three of my three guys that I know. There's D3 t- teaming up with Fabu Andre, who I faced, and um, um, Ryzen. 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 Yep. I also faced them too. So I faced both these guys um, before. So imagine for me to see them on on the on the show. It's only putting you know bright light in my future. And what I love about AEW, I know we're getting off topic and questions yeah. and everything like that. But what I love about AEW, and we talked about this on on Joe and I on our last show, is um. They're bringing back squash matches. They're yes. bringing back uh, the where the, you know the jobber is not going to beat the champ. Right. You know, but it's giving that indie wrestler the chance to hey, I'm out here. There were in a pandemic. You're going to be opening your doors back up. Hey, Cha Cha Charlie wrestling AEW Dark. Let's focus on there on you know North Georgia wrestling or something like that. It opens the door to where you don't see that often on. WWE TV or anything no. along those lines, and that's that's what I love about AEW is they give back to the talent. That's what I love too. I love that too. 
Um, I, I love their Wednesday shows. It feels like almost like a, like like they're putting on a pay per view every single time they, they put on a show. Mm-hmm. Uh, so definitely. I am engaged with the way what's going on with AEW. I am. Uh, well, Cha Cha, we uh, we're convinced here, <laughs> Assy Paradox. We are. <laughs> Chris knows where I'm going. Yeah. We're convinced that Cody Rhodes watches our show. <laughs> so about four weeks ago, and I'll give you a small example. Then we're gonna get back into the questions. I'm just having fun with you now, Cha Cha. <laughs> uh, but about four weeks ago, I made a comment when Matt Cardona, Zack Ryder, was gonna come to AEW, and we all kind of saw it coming. I said, "Yo, you know him," and, and this is on our podcast somewhere. You gotta go back and find it. But I said, "Yo, you know him and uh, Cody are gonna team up, right?" They should make a shirt that says a sweet life of Matt and Cody. Well, Cha-Cha, you know what came out this past week? A shirt that says a sweet life of Matt and Cody. (laughs) I'm a million percent convinced they watch our show. So, Cody, if you're watching, look at Cody. Look at me. If you're watching, (laughs) get this guy on dark. I promise you. He's going to do some frog splashes off some high shit. He, he got you. Don't I'm, worry. I'm going to put on a show no matter what. If you give me that, a shot to win that TNT title, I can promise you there's going to be one big party that wins. <laughs> and, and, Yo, we'll be you know in the crowd, man. You know what's even better is I think it was like our second episode we ever did. Um, it was when Taz came out and started doing with Brian Cage. Literally at the end of our show, I said, you know, it would be awesome if Taz brought the FTW belt back and just gave it to Brian K and said, no one can beat you. You're unstoppable. And two weeks later, <laughs> two weeks later, <laughs> literally it happened. I'm like, no, nah, this ain't happening. I was like, no, nah, nah, nah. yeah. like, no, no, no. And then literally it just slowly was slowly. We saw little things and he would te- we would text each other. But did that just really happen? We just talked about that two weeks ago. I'm like, yeah, bro. Like, I'm thinking they're watching us. <laughs> All no, right, no, so they're, they're definitely watching. They're watching. They're hearing. They're, they're watching what's going on. Um, they're listening to the fans. Yes. They're paying attention. They're definitely, definitely paying attention, and they're giving us what we want. And 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 I'm very grateful for 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 AEW being a second option now. Yes, yeah, that's, that's awesome, man. Cha Cha, let me ask you, man. In CCW, you seem to be in a lot of different angles. Right. Like, how do you how do you feel jumping from like opponent to opponent or like is that something that you know that kind of messes with a little bit of storylines or is that something you enjoy like do you enjoy being in different angles like that? Well, I'm gonna do whatever the company wants. That's not, that's number one. You know that that's what I'm here for. Um, I enjoy facing new opponent. It, it it shows me the what kind of, what kind, what type of wrestler I am. Where's my talent level? what I could do with certain people, what I can't do with certain people. I do like wrestling people. I prefer a storyline. Uh, that way, I, I like having my fans and engaged in, in what's going on, um, especially when, 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 when the fans are following the other person, now getting on their back. They like yeah. that. And, and for them to like that, uh, like, like, damn, Chacha, you got a lot of fans. I got all these haters on my inbox now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like haters. They're not haters. They're fans. They just don't like you. <laughs> yeah. But, but See, that's I the would, point. I would think it it would be more hard. It would be harder um, as a wrestler to get some kind of chemistry with no storyline there. Like especially like CCW. You know, it's at once every two to three months you do a show. Like you can't hear carry on a storyline that way. Is it harder to like do a social media storyline, or is it easy or harder to do like an in ring storyline? Uh, I think it, maybe social media one is harder because it, it's just texting and, and back and forward. And, and I don't think a lot of people really care about all that. Now, mm-hmm. if you have a, a video, if you have a collage, if you have pictures of, of what's really going on, people who doesn't have the opportunity to actually go to the show, you present them the videos and they're, they're engaged already. Mm-hmm. Um, and from there, you can build and, and make it bigger than what it is. Gotcha. Okay. Now, now I, have, I do have a side. I do have a side note, though. Now that we, you've told us that you did, you know, video and you went to school editing and all, did you film all the American Horror Stories vignettes and everything like that with agony? And- no, no, no. Um, oh. I did film some stuff, but um, because those were very well is- done, very well done. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The American sto- the American Horror Story was was uh was built by them. Um, they did a phenomenal job, and um and and that's the path CCW is going. We're we're all trying to tell a story now and and have all our fans engaged and and that's the best way to go in my opinion awesome nice right <laughs> but yeah so, but yeah la, um the, the 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 storytelling is my thing uh i like i like telling a story in the ring um at the end after let's say i don't have no storyline with you not whatsoever and this is the first time 
we're meeting. We're going to tell a story in the ring that day, and everyone's going to be talking about our match, and that's what was the goal. Now, who was your, who was your favorite – uh, that you told a storyline with or you had a better chemistry with in the ring? Would it be David Mercury or would it be Stryker Ramirez? Uh, between both uh, David Mercury. Uh, David, uh, he's a natural. He's been doing this for so long, over 16 to 20 years. Um, he's a teacher. He's a master of the game. So um, when, when I started my feud with him, I wasn't as good as, as I am today. And uh, he made me a lot better. Um, we, we, we told the story. Now, everywhere we go, if we're in the same card, a lot of the promoters want to see that fight because uh, they know the fans want to see it too. Mm -hmm. uh, so now we're wrestling in different towns. We started in, in South Florida and Coral Springs, but, but we've taken it everywhere. We've taken it to Jacksonville a few times. Um, we, we've been everywhere in Florida. Uh, so, so David, and not, not to take anything away from Stryker, Stryker's great. Uh, he's uh, one of the greatest CCW Southeastern title champion there is. Um, well, one of, and, one of, one of, <laughs> one of, one of, not yours truly, the, the cha cha Charlie. He cha, made that cha, title cha, with cha cha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, Strikers is he, he's, he's gotten very good, he's well, uh, well trained. Um, and he's got to keep going now, right. Good. Cha, right, cha Cha, let me ask you, uh, you know, in CCW, we, we touched on earlier, you're like, you're undoubtedly one of the crowd favorites in CCW. Um, could you ever see yourself moving into a heel position later on in your career? Or is that something that's crossed your mind at all, you know, up to this day, or it's been talks backstage? How, where do you stand on being a heel? Well, it keeps being brought up more and more and more than ever. Like, everybody wants to see that turn, like that heel turn. I'm like, listen, I'm making money right now as a good guy. <laughs> did you not see what it did for Hulk Hogan, sir? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't know about going that, that heel way. You know, I teased it a little bit with Vince Steele. Um, mm -hmm. but, but that's because Vince has a fan base, too. He has the people that like him. And, he, and, and I have the people that like me. So they, they, they clash, they collide, and, and it was just uh, one of those days that, that you're going to root for who you want. But me turning heel, I don't know, man. It, it has to be the whole Kogan heel turn, and, and it has to be the right moment. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know, just, like, drop, you know, just come through the leg drop on El Jefe. I think what's yeah. his, his name? Yeah. Well, I just, I, I, just you know. gotta, I just look at it this way. My mantra is the heels make more money in the long run. Yeah, yeah you, you know, know, Hollywood Cha Cha has a nice ring to it. Yeah. Hey. I can come out playing the ukulele. That's all I gotta do. <laughs> That's my own little faction. I'll be the whole Kogan of it. Why not? You know. There we go. There, go, there we go. You'll have us and fans, man. Don't worry. We'll be cheering for you right on the side. <laughs> oh, man. He's a cha cha dance, but don't give it to you, Daddy. <laughs> exactly. Or you, or, you, or, you, or you just do you just do it, and then you just like just throw your hands at it, just like whatever, you know. <laughs> like, <laughs> but um, but before we get in further, the reason why we had Alex Ocean on the show a couple weeks ago, is <laughs> him and Joe got into a social media beef. And um, yeah, I don't know how. I don't know how. Um, so probably about probably about a year ago, I think it was was the first time I ever saw Alex Ocean. And right at first glance, and I know I'm not the first person to ever see it, CM Punk. Um, just the tattoos, <laughs> everything. Yeah. So yeah. I went on there, and I was like, and I commented on CCW's page just for, before the podcast. Oh, that and, was you. I read that. I read that. And, that was you. People were like, you great. Va I was like, yo, you great valued CM Punk, bitch. I was like, so, <laughs> sorry, talking shit. And I, I, so when we went to Summer Glory, this was the first time out and about at a show with our business now this is a business for us like i have yeah, yeah. we have it shirts that we business, sell eventually and that's what that's it is that's it man and so we're wearing the shirts we're right there i don't know if you saw us but we're right there right by the entrance as you're coming out and alex ocean spotted me and he gave me the go to sleep and then he blew a kiss at me right so <laughs> i had the beers flowing i was ready to go i'm like yo i'm gonna fuck this guy up i was like fuck ccw <laughs> fuck, fuck this company i'm ready to go me and you alex because i challenged him to a death match right so right. now that I've seen him wrestle the death match and now that I'm sober <laughs> and I'm a father and I'm a more humble human being, <laughs> I apologized ever so greatly. And uh, I asked him, I said, how did you recognize me? Like, how did you know who I was? He goes, I don't know. It was something about your face. You pissed me off. 
He was like, I don't let people. He's like, I don't let people get to me. He's like, I don't let people get to me, and you got to me. I don't know why. I don't know how, but you got to me. And I'm like, dude, that's awesome. I was like, I did what you wanted. I gave you a reaction, and like you gave it back. And I wasn't expecting that because when he answered, I was like, oh my god, I'm sorry, man. I was just trying to be a fan. (laughs) (laughs) Um, What are your? Yeah, that was social media. (laughs) I would, would we respond back to the, the 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 you know the people that like making little comments and stuff. Like yeah, that. man, I felt horrible afterwards. Like I, I talked to him afterwards, and we talked off camera, and we we sent him a shirt, and it's nothing but great love nice. for Alex Ocean, man. Alex Ocean's an awesome wrestler. What are your thoughts on the Breakneck Kid? Like having him around, you two are obviously two of the favorites, like in CCW and the most popular ones that I know of. So, I mean, what are your thoughts on Alex? Uh, I'm very proud of Alex. I'm happy uh, that, that he's up there. He's doing his thing. Um, he's doing phenomenal. His name is getting out there. Uh, and what he does is, is incredible, amazing. Not a lot of people would do that. Well, what he does, I probably wouldn't do. Um, he's, everyone has their niche, and, and he's taking it to, to, to a different level. And he's, he's taking it by storm. And, and I'm proud of Alex, and uh, I'm glad he's doing what he's doing. Have you been watching his matches? It, well, it brings a great. Uh, it, it brings a great. Um, uh, it, it brings a mantra to this area where he comes from, you know, where right. he starts out at and everything. Even if it's a different genre of wrestling, it's a deathmatch style of wrestling. But when he comes back to his roots, the CCW, and he still jumps off a ladder, jumps to a table, jumps off the top of a a, a, a a building, a hut where you guys are changing your locker room, you know, through a table. But it still it hits the the social media hits YouTube, it goes viral and your logo is CCW logos in the background. So I think it brings good name to different styles of wrestling, you know, and he, and it, it puts him in different categories. Like he could still do the death match with light to bar wire and everything like that. But he could he still also can, wrestle. Exactly. He exactly. Could yes. Yes. So uh, yeah, the, yeah. The, yeah. Like a lot of people that probably follow him all, he's, he's the death match. He death match. He's, no, no, no. Alex could get into a Lucha Libre match or he has to at the end of the day. And yes, um, yeah. that, that's what CCW does, uh, Coastal Championship Wrestling. Uh, you know, we're only, we only bring the best wrestlers. Uh, we make talents here. Um, so th- that's what we're all about here, you know. Alex Ocean, me, Hef- El Jefe Santos is one of the great uh, CCW icon. Um, there's so many guys that, that are doing great things, and, and it's, we're, we're in a path that we're only going to do better right now. We're, we're well, doing, CCW we wanted me to ask you a question. Uh, where's the ring bell, Cha-Cha? Where's the ring, though? Why, why, why does he keep asking Tata? Where's the ring, though? I'm going to pass that on to them. No way. Uh, <laughs> but uh, you, know, you, 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 you said about the talent that it's at CCW, and um, I know this isn't all one of our questions, but who do you see being the next Breakneck Kid or Cha Cha Charlie that's in the de- de- developmental that's coming up through the ranks of CCW? Uh. I'm a big fan of Jackal. Jackal, mm-hmm. he's uh he, he's a part of American Horror Story, but but he's a character. He's a character in the ring. Um, he grabs the the audience attention. Um, he's a small guy, but he could do a lot of stuff, and he's a great storyteller. Uh, I see big things happening for Jackal, um, and hopefully he keeps going. You know, uh, cause wrestling is one of these things that 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 you know you're doing it, all this stuff happens, but. A lot of people quit. A lot of people come and go. Um, you just got to keep going, keep going, and, and reach the top because uh, you never know where it could take you. And, and 2020 has just shown that. Yeah. yeah. What are your thoughts on someone like uh, Will Austin? Oh, Will Austin is another one. Uh, he, I, I think he's the next big thing. Um, um, well, well, everyone has their own niche. What he does, he's the king of flight. Um, he hops from rope to rope. Um, Actually, I think I want him next eventually down the road. Yeah, um, yeah. I think we can set that, that up. You want us to plant a seed next show? Because yeah, we have there we go. Set it up. I'll plant a Will. seed. I'll yeah, plant the, a seed. The only thing about Will is he's a little too cocky, you know. He, but he's too young in the game to be too cocky. So uh, a veteran like me needs to uh, calm him down, sit him down, right. and put him we'll, in We'll pass program. the message along, Cha-Cha. I got, I got, I'll pass the message along to him. Let him know what you think. Um, you know, Will actually played football with my stepbrother, so that was kind of okay. cool to know that uh, he was the quarterback and my stepbrother played on the defensive line. So that was kind of cool to see There you um, go. Yeah, see he's where a he came from. Yeah. To see where he came from. And I watched him in high school at the games and to like, see him now I messaged him. I'm like, dude, like, I know who you are. I need you on my show. And he's, he's all about <laughs> yeah. it. So 
which is awesome. But, um, you know, <laughs> Cha-Cha, let me ask you, man, everybody out there right now, everybody, and uh, <laughs> I'll tell you Alex Osha's answer was Joey Janela. But out of everybody out of there right now, who do you see, any company, anywhere in the world, if I put you in the ring with another person, who does that person have to be for you to have a five-star match? You, you have to give me a, a, the ultimate heel. Where, where's the, the biggest, baddest bad guy right now? Because um, if you put a good bad guy versus a, a good, good guy like Cha-Cha Charlie, I think we could just make magic. And uh, Killer Cross is, is, is doing his thing in the next <laughs> year. Yo, and I'm imagine so Cha-Cha Charlie versus Killer Cross, me trying to dance with, with Berdu. <laughs> and then he doesn't like that, <laughs> you know? Oh, I, I, line, I, you know, let me, yeah, let me yeah. give you a little merengue over here. Yeah. I know Killer Cross doesn't do merengue. Let me teach you a little merengue. But you, you know what's great about that? Is she's, she's just going to stare at you and not move. She's just going <laughs> to just look daggers right through you. And it's gonna be, uh, that would be an awesome matchup. I just don't like um, – I know I'm going to go negative on WWE. I don't like the story of t- writing that they're doing for him. The creative Yeah, yeah. Story. It's um, and that's how I feel with the whole Cha Cha Charlie uh thing. Um, look what they did with No Way Jose. No Way Jose, you know, is 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 a is a similar character to mine. Uh, but they 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 let that character go down the drain. I don't know what they did with it. I don't know what No Way Jose is doing now. Uh, that's also I want to be in the ring with No Way Jose now. That He's I'm, actually I'm going to be wrestling this Saturday at Lariato Pro. I saw that. Yes. Is he going to be No Way Jose or is he going to be a new character? I think it's um, – I think he's just going by Jose. Okay. Yes. Right. And he's got a different hairstyle and everything like that. Yeah, his hair is, like, permed out now. It's wild. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't know about all that. <laughs> well, we, we saw, we saw um, Adam Rose's first match out of w, WWE uh, Mania Weekend in 2017 as Leo. Okay. Kong. And um, it was a death match with Eddie Kingston. And oh, okay, Eddie wow. Kingston beat the shit out of him. I wow. mean, bad blood all over the place. I mean, I've wow. never seen anyone bleed like that. It, it was it was pretty bad. That's another yeah, one. It, yeah, that's another one. That what? Eddie Kingston. Eddie Kingston. Yeah, I, and Eddie, why not? Yo, no, uh, that too. I Eddie, <laughs> I saw Eddie on AEW. I cut the greatest fucking promo I've ever heard. Yeah, but, I agree. Oh, my God. It was amazing. And I looked at Chris, and we got on the show, and I said, Chris, they need to sign Eddie Kingston. Nah, I don't think they're going to sign him. I don't think they're going to sign him. And I'm like, they need to sign him. They need to sign him. Two weeks later, guess who signed? I'm like, Cody, cut my fucking check, man. Let's get this <laughs> shit over with. All right? I'm tired of writing your goddamn show for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get your own segment on it. <laughs> Yo, for real. <laughs> and the crazy thing is, is uh, last week I did a, a, a review on the their little wrestling ring that they got. I got I bought my son a championship belt, and I got him all five figures. I only got nice. to give him two so far. He's getting the other three for Christmas. So let me cut us a check. Cut us a check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously. Like, so I'll keep it going. You never know, man. You guys might have your own little podcast segment for AEW. <laughs> oh, see? <laughs> Uh, I think we want to start with CCW. You guys are uh, yeah, yeah, you guys are where we want to be right now. You guys are where we want to be. You guys are up and coming talent. Every time I watch a CCW show or every time I go online, I just look at videos I've never seen. I'm constantly just impressed with like because you. I'm seeing people where like they'll have a match and then I'll go to their next match and then I'll go to their next match and it's just like I see improvement in every match and it's they just improve. so, dude. It's so cool to see to find out because I thought CCW was a promotion. Coming to find out through Alex Ocean, it's actually just a school. It's a school. It's a, and it's I didn't school. know. I thought they were a promotion. I thought they were like, you know, this is CC. And I, I thought they were like AEW or something. But no, they're a school. And they're producing I mean, some good talent right now. Yeah, no, I mean, they're, they're, they are a school, but they are a promotion at the same time. You know, um, they've been doing this for 16 years. Uh, all the greats has, have come by. Um, we've had MVP as a champion, Dustin Rhodes. Cajegas, uh, El Jefe Santos, um, the, uh, uh, Stefan Guadalupe. We had uh, many, many CCW ta- uh, champions. A lot of big names always come. We always try to big, bring some big names on, the, on all our big shows. Um, and you never know what's next. Uh, that I've heard that, you know, we got Sabu. We got uh, Bill Alfonso. What, what's wow. the only thing that, that could be next? Oh, Rob Van Dam coming to CCW. Yeah, boy. <laughs> if that happens, I'm, I'm front row. I'm front row. I'm front row. <laughs> Yo, but I'm the asshole when Bill Alfonso comes out. I'm chanting ECW, and he's like, no, 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 it's CCW. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. CCW. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, 
the school, the school's doing great. Uh, we have a, a lot of new students and, and a lot of uh, the other students, they're stepping up. They're, um, I'm a big fan of, of Sun Ra, Prince Sun Ra. Uh, he's going to do big things eventually. And um, there, there's Benny Blanco, there, there's Chris Farrell, which is, there, there's a lot of guys coming up. And uh, yeah. who's uh, the guy? Who's the guy the on the bus? Who's the guy? Who's the bus? Uh, the bus, uh, Big Andy. Uh, yes. The bus. <laughs> he reminds me of, of, of like a, a British English version of Diesel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he has that British accent. Uh, he, ha he has something there he just has to um, keep it going mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there's a uh, there's another school ran by or uh, a school slash promotion down here and uh that's uh gangrel out of right. uh date out of dania have you ever been in contact with them about maybe wrestling with them or you know i don't nah, know nah, if i'm nah. allowed to ask you that question or not but i mean you can ask that question but um I i'm ccw um, i'm ccw south florida uh, i represent ccw coastal championship wrestling that's where I'm at, and uh, that's where I'm gonna be. Okay, cool, definitely, definitely. Now, because I don't know how that really, well, I don't know how that really works. Like, can you like do a one-off with Ronin, or like, how does uh, that work? Same situation, AEW and WWE, NXT. Yeah. Uh, All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I I wasn't sure. My apologies. There you go. There My you apologies. go. Uh, no, no. <laughs> CCW. CCW. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Cha Cha, where do you see yourself in five years, man? What, what, what's 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 next for Cha Cha down the line? Does he stay in CCW? Does he help train the up and coming kids like Will Austin or any of these other kids, or does he go on and become the universal champion of the world? <laughs> that would be a dream come true. If I can make the WWE, AEW, Ring of Honor, Impact, um, NWA Power, I will say I live I lived my dream. My dream came true if that would ever happen. Even just a match. Security, anything like that, it doesn't matter. I can say my dream come true. But my, my goal is to make money uh, with, with, with wrestling. Uh, if I make it to the big stage or not, I want to be popular everywhere I go. I want to pack the house everywhere I go. I want to be like like uh, Will Ospreay. I want to be like Ricochet, how they were when, when they were in the indie. Anytime they were promoted, they would bring on a, a crowd. They had a fan base or, or just people just came to see them. Um, same scenario. I, I, I want to make money off this. Uh, you know, I'm putting my body on the line. Um, a lot of stuff has happened with the wrestling. Um, I've chosen wrestling over a lot of things. So, so now I got to go full blown straight to the top and, and wherever it takes me, if, you know, if, if I could wrestle in, in Europe, in Japan, uh, if I can make a character anywhere, um, that, that's the goal. The goal is to make a, a, a full time living off of wrestling. And that's what I want to do. Yeah, you got to reap the benefits because, you know, you're putting your body on the line and everything like right. that. Your return on investment has to be high. Yeah, it has to be high. Uh, and, and that's what I want right now. I want to be uh, – I want to I want to, I want to make this a full-time job. Uh, it's a part-time job. Uh, I have a shoot job. I sell insurance. Uh, for all my Florida people listening, if you need uh, help with your auto insurance, commercial insurance, homeowners, life, health, any insurance, I can get you the best rate because I shop it around. I work with over 21 different providers. Compareacult.com, go there. Cha Cha Charlie will be your agent as well. <laughs> That's all I said plug. I meant wrestling plugs, but I'll take that all day, man. I'll take that all day. I love it. I love it. That was awesome. God, that's better than Michael Cole's WWE Network plug. Uh, <laughs> like a good neighbor, Cha Cha is there. Cha Cha. Yo, can we put that on a shirt? Yes. <laughs> Yo, let me ask you a question. Copyright, copyright, patent pending. We're, we're, that's ours. That's the, that's the wrestling podcast. There you go. There you go. <laughs> um, can I? Let me ask you a question, Cha Cha. When it comes to like, cause uh, merchandising and stuff like that, are you guys responsible for that for CCW or CCW help supply that to you? No, no, it's all us. You're, you're, you have your own creative rights, your own creative freedom as an independent wrestling, and it should be like that with most. Um, schools and most promotions a lot of the people have different ways of doing things but no no over here you, so you, you get all the shirts made you yeah. design all the shirt everything yeah. that's awesome it's man. my job know. my job is to stay on top of cha-cha charlie uh if i'm not pushing cha-cha charlie no one's gonna Who push is? me more than, yeah. than, than than i am uh, so that, that's what i'm doing the merchandise the cha-cha hats are, are in effect let's let's get <laughs> <laughs> Well, Cha-Cha, I'm trying to convince Chris, man, and we want to get up to that. Ten I think it's Tennessee, right, when Sabu comes around? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a big one. 
Yeah, I think we're gonna make that drive up because we're in South Florida with you, man. So okay. Uh, <laughs> so, so, yeah, and from the 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 looks of it, it's gonna be a a lot of matches. Normally, CCW does like six to five matches on shows, but we might have more on that one uh, because of the magnitude, the buzz we're getting in Nashville. Uh, CCW is getting a, a huge buzz buzz in Nashville right now. Um, if you look up on flights, flights are pretty dirt cheap right now, uh, to, to go to Nashville. So, uh, no, 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 sir. I, I would be taking the drive. I have a, uh, yeah, a medical. I took the drive the last I got, time. I got, I can't, there's certain things I can't take on an airplane that I need in a car <laughs> with me. <laughs> um, yeah. No, man, that, that's – and the great thing about it is with CCW is people want to go to wrestling shows. It doesn't matter if you're a WWE fan. I fuck everything else. I'm only watching WWE. All, you know how these marks are. But yeah. if they hear, oh, shit, there's a company, C Sabu, I know that fucking guy. That's a show. They're having fans. Yo, let's get tickets. Boom. Yeah. There you go. That's a fan that they, they, they want to go to a wrestling show, but they can't right now because of everything that's going on. But CCW is giving them that – that uh, that that uh that moments get there yeah. and let me tell you something for anybody watching and you want to go to a ccw event but you don't know how it's gonna their protocol is amazing they check temperatures as you come in everybody must wear a mask around the ring they keep it limited to a certain amount of people but they, it feels packed in there and the noise that comes from those fans makes you feel you're in an arena with twenty thousand people you're at madison square garden nice. but, yo that 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 summer glory show that was amazing that was right, there was right. there wasn't a lot. I think there was maybe like two hundred people in there. Maybe yeah, we had to we had to turn people away because yeah. um we, we ran the limit. Yeah, yeah. I, pretty, they got on there like the fire marshals here. Put on your mask, please. Separate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, so now we, how we were the it? first show down here. Um, yeah, yeah. During COVID, we were like the first show to have an audience. Mm -hmm. Um, and so so it, it was a, a learning experience for us, but. But we were the center of attention. Everybody was watching to see how we were gonna do it, and and that's why we I think we caused the buzz, because uh, everybody was watching to see how 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 CCW is gonna run a show with people in there for the first time in, in th over three months, where where people has to be separated, have to wear their masks. The fire marshals were there. Uh, there was uh, chaos backstage. There was so much going on because of the whole COVID situation, and uh, we succeeded. We pulled off the show and we sent everybody home happy that night. And 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 I think we we achieved our goals. Heck yeah! And now now when you guys went to Nashville um, the first time a couple uh, last month, how was it wrestling in the rain? Uh, so that was like three <laughs> weeks ago. Um, it started raining on my match. Out of all the matches, <laughs> it started raining on my match. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, it, you know, we went with the flow. Uh, we took it home early because of the rain. Um, uh, I, I faced uh, Brent Brooks, um, and I just hit him with the frog, frog splash. Five-star frog splash, took it home. One, two, three. It's over. We sent everybody home happy. Um, but, no, we were waiting for the, the rain to calm down. Uh, it didn't. Uh, so the guys were – the fans were in, in the actual warehouse because uh, uh, it was at a granite place that we were at. So they were at the the everyone was just waiting for the, the the rain to come down to come go away, but it didn't. So uh, the guys was like, uh, "Fuck it, let's just do the show right here in, in the granite place. Let's just start chaos." And uh, <laughs> um, that's what Blue Austin and Jake St. Patrick did, mm -hmm. and and Alex versus uh, the Jack Jackal. Jackal. Yeah. Um, and you know we took we took that situation into our our own hand, and we made the best out of it, and and that's what we do. Yep. Gotcha. Yep. And, and well, Jake St. Patrick is another up and comer. He's 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 talented, 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 top notch. Um, he could fly, he could wrestle, he could lucha, he could do everything. Have your eyes on the radar, Jake St. Patrick, because it's always St. Patrick Day when Jake is. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this guy is turning it on, on bro. <laughs> Yo, this guy is turning I'm so, it I'm on. I'm such a man. mark. I'm a mark. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, That's awesome. Cha -cha, we uh we appreciate you coming on man this has been just so much fun i don't know chris do you have anything else you got to ask this guy because the problem is cha, cha we got to cut our shit because if we don't cut our shit we're gonna keep going and then we're gonna yeah. start cutting promos on each other i'm gonna have fun with it you saw what i did to alex man if you think i can get him hyped <laughs> i can't step on your hat and get you going huh 
Huh? <laughs> oh, Don't mess with nah. the hat. Don't mess with that. You mess with everything. Not the hat. <laughs> nah, man. Oh. I, this has been so much fun, Cha Cha. And I, I can't thank you enough for this interview, man. Oh, no. um, thank you, there's... guys, man. It's fun for me. Uh, thank you for having me. This means a lot to me. Uh, yeah. yeah, man. Uh, if, if, if you want a part two, we can set up a part two one day. But Dude. I'm ready. Oh, <laughs> yo, uh, look. Do you want to? Do you want to plug your shit, man? Plug it all right now. What you got? Yeah, let, let me get it out the way. Um, Instagram, it's Cha Cha Time. So everything is I T S Cha Cha Time. It's Cha Cha Time. Um, on Twitter, it's Cha Cha Time. Facebook, Cha Cha Charlie, Cha Cha Charlie TV, and my YouTube. My YouTube is doing pretty well. Give me the subscribe there. Um, Tata Tardy TV on YouTube. Um, and that's basically well, hold on. What is your you show? The, what shirts, are... the shirts go to Pro Wrestling Tees. Uh, the Tata shirts uh, are up there finally. Are they up there? I, They're I, on I, Pro Wrestling Tees? I got approved. Um, yeah. I sent them my logo. So it, it, it's that's awesome. There, man. there we go. There we <laughs> go. <laughs> that's our goal. We actually, so we have a shirt as well, like Chris is wearing. We've we've redesigned a few things. Now it says, you know, on the back it says "Welcome to the Paradox" and like big block letters to give nice. it a little more oomph on the shirt. Uh, but yeah, we're actually trying to get that right now with the pro wrestling tees. So that's our next step. Uh, yeah, let man. me let me know, man. As soon as it's up, I'll be more than happy to get one and and wear uh, one of your shirts. Oh no 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 no! no. You're an interview, sir. Just like Alex Ocean, the shirt is coming your way. Without there we question, go. There you go, my man. Without question, the shirt is coming your way. Real happy and proud to re represent. <laughs> and, you, and, and once, once we print the um, like a good neighbor, Cha Cha is here. Once we print that, we'll send you one of the ones that we print. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> just, just give me a little cut. A, a slight, oh, a little dude, percentage. don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. It. It, it, it's it's in you. the same <laughs> mail that Cody's sending our royalties in. So it'll yeah. Be yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still waiting on that fucking check. <laughs> <laughs> Cha Cha, before I let you go, man, what are your thoughts, really quick, dude? And this is because I it just came to my head. What's your thoughts on the state of the business right now? Like, what are um, your thoughts? Like, obviously, the biggest era was the Attitude Era, and that's where we—that's usually the bar—is the Attitude Era. Where are we in wrestling right now compared to that bar? Um, it's it's not close to that bar, but we're I think we're stepping it up from what were we were before. Um. Cause you know we were in that PG era. That that's when it, it turned off almost everybody, and um, though we though we had no one to compete with. So now with AEW being around and them giving them competition, I think everyone has to step up, and that's what was what's happening right now. Everyone is stepping it up to a different level. Even WWE is starting to change their thing, and if you see, they're even copying some of the stuff that AEW is doing too. So um, they 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 AEW is taking them out of their element but uh, it, it's good for everybody because uh the wrestling I think wrestling is popping once again it's getting big again and 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 I like the 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 route that the wrestling uh world is going to right now now yeah, what man. do you think once once everything opens back up now you got you know NXT well first off next before I start this question I think next week is going to be a hell of a time for AEW to get any kind of viewers when you have um takeover 30 on Saturday and then you have dynamite on Saturday uh, that's right. going to be tough. That's going to be tough. Yeah. But yeah. when when the pandemic ends or when stuff openings back starts opening back up and you have more ROH shows, you have more MLW shows, you know, and everything along those lines. Yeah. How do you think those companies or promotions are going to fare compared to an AEW and an NXT and a Raw SmackDown since they haven't had any TV or have any right. exposure for months on end? It's, it's, uh, it's not going to be easy because um... – out of sight, out of mind, uh, and 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 you you have to keep on going no matter what the situation is. So it's gonna be hard for the Ring of Honors. Um, I think Impact is gonna do good because you know they're they're still staying on on TV. They're still staying on the ball. They're still signing people left and right. Um, but yeah, um, everyone's gonna have to come up with something different because it's just it's how you're gonna compete with the same thing. If you're doing the same thing the other guy is doing, why why do I want to watch you? when I can still continue watching this. So you got to give me something that's going to be like, oh, ah, this is what I want to see. Right. Um, but yeah, yeah. And then same thing with the independent wrestling. Uh, a lot of companies shut down. Mm -hmm. um, they didn't know what to do uh, or, you know, they keeping it safe, uh, doing the precautions. Uh, um, but again, out of sight, out of mind, you got to, got to, and, and that's why I haven't stopped. Uh, that's why I'm still dropping promos. I'm still wrestling every time I can. I'm doing everything possible to stay, uh, you know, uh, to stay re relevant. Uh, awesome. Awesome.
Well, like, you right? mentioned the oohs and ahs of wrestling right now, and you know, Cha Cha, you are one of the ones that are giving those, so giving us those oohs and ahs. So <laughs> we thank you for that, man. Um, no, thank once you, again, thank you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Wrestling Paradox Podcast. And, you know, I've never done this before, and we've never done this on a podcast. Cha-Cha, I'm going to let you take it out, man. Are you comfortable doing that, or how are you feeling? You, you want me to take it out? I take want you out. to take it out, man. However you want, you end it. Um, get okay, me gente. What is good, my peoples? This is the ending of the show. We just had a phenomenal show with Joe, with Chris, with Cha-Cha Charlie. Uh, the red, the wrestling paradox. Stay tuned for the next week's show. Stay tuned for everything, uh, because I can guarantee you, this is only gonna get better.